Hello, this is Chicho. Welcome to Math in Real Life and the Language of Mathematics. Let me give you a little tour of the site, that way you can find what you need as quickly as possible. Okay. Now the way this site is set up is basically as an online video textbook and the two most useful sections of any book that you're ever, any textbook that you're ever going to come across is the table of contents and the index. Now the table of contents gives you a flow of ideas, how the authors decided to share that information with you. So at the beginning of the chapter is usually the more uh, introductory concepts and later on as the chapter progresses, harder concepts get attached to it or new concepts get added in that's connected on to the original original topic that you might have started with in a chapter okay and that's why the table of contents is super useful and used a lot right the index allows you to find a specific topic alphabetically so it's laid out alphabetically and you know you can go to a certain topic and find out how many different pages reference the certain topic and have a lesson associated with the certain topic okay and that's exactly the way I've set up this site. Now the table of contents and the index are located in the left hand column. Okay. The table of contents is broken down into two sub tables. One is the table of contents for the language of mathematics and the other one is a uh, table of contents for math in real life. And if you click on the button here, it will take you to a little introduction to what each one is. And you know, the links here take you to the specific table of contents where the information is contained. And the index, like any other books, is laid out alphabetically. Okay. And if there's a certain topic that you're looking for, you can click on it and you know go to for example if you're looking for exponents and radicals you go to exponents and radicals and there's a s another folder in exponents and radicals and it contains a whole bunch of pages related to exponents and radicals and from there if you're looking for let's say multiplying and dividing exponents you can click on multiplying and dividing exponents and that'll take you to the lesson that contains the information for multiplying and dividing exponents okay now, in the title of a, of a page, there's more information than there is in the pull-down menu, um, pull menu here, okay? The title is usually longer because we have more room, more space. And there's something here called, in brackets, there's going to be the language of mathematics, right? Or math in real life, depending on which table of contents it's related to, if it's related to the language of mathematics or math in real life. The number, the numerical number here references either the series for the language of mathematics or the topic for math in real life. So for example, this one says the language of mathematics, new, numeral, Roman numeral 2, series 2. So if you go open up the language of mathematics, if you go to series 2, you got a whole subsection here uh, for subfolder here for exponents and radicals and the multiplying and dividing exponents is contained in that series right the other thing that's important here is the the number that i've given the video and the number references uh, the order in which the videos were taken and edited and loaded onto uh loaded onto youtube for example this one is uh language of mathematics series two video number 46 and usually i'm going to provide a link for whatever table of contents this video belongs to. So this, you know, there's a link on, on above the video here, which links directly to the table of contents for the language of mathematics. So you can open that up and go to the table of contents. And when you go to the table of contents, each series, which is basically, you can consider it to be each chapter. I've sort of broken it down based on the year that I shot it, right? Or I made the videos and edited them and put them on. And each series you can click on and go directly to that series. So if we click on series one, we go to series one. If we click on series two, we go to series two, right? And we wanted to find out what video number, where video number 46 belonged in this, on this page, right? So you can either scroll down and see the Roman, uh, see the number here. And that's what the number is referencing to for whatever series you're, whatever video number you're looking for, okay? So whenever you see a video that I've made that's referencing a certain number, a certain video, and there's a number usually attached to whatever video I'm referencing, this is the number I'm referencing, which is, this says video number 46, and you know, if you go to series two, you can click on series two, it'll take you directly there, and you can find video number 46 and see how the flow of information is being presented, 
right? So if we go back to the table of contents, beside each one is a description. So if you go to series two, you click on the description, it'll take you to a page where it tells you what's contained in the series, sort of a summary of you know, what you can expect in the series, where it starts off with and where it ends up, okay? And if you scroll down, there's an image file of the pull down menu of what you actually have over here, okay? So you can scan this as well and, you know, see, see what's contained in the series if you want to use the pull down menu, okay? The other link beside the specific series for the table of contents is a, is a link that takes you to the exercises, exercises and solutions, which is also a button up top here. And if you go to the exercises and solutions, if you clicked on that, here's the video, here's the exercises and solutions for series two, right? Because we clicked on the exercises and solutions for series two. So it'll take you directly to there and you know, you can take a look at what's contained there. And these are each, each link is, takes you to an image file. So for example, if you want exponents and radicals, exponents to exponents, you go over here, it links you to a page over here. And if this is too small, you can click on, you know, a little zoom button either here or here. The image will get bigger. And there's a little button here, uh, you know, provided information on how you go about downloading the, the, the videos if you want to download the videos and have a hard copy of the videos there, okay? And that's basically how the information is laid out for uh, math in real life and the language of mathematics. Uh, basically, as an online video textbook because, uh, you know, for a good textbook, it's fairly easy to find out um, where the information is and, you know, how, how, how you go about learning a certain subject. And, you know, that's what I've tried to do here. Uh, make it uh, fairly intuitive and coherent and uh, make it easy for you to find what it is that you're looking for. Okay. I hope you enjoy your stay here. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, please send me a message. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.